The following article was written by Nancy Levant and posted on govslaves.info. Something is far beyond contaminated and glow fishy about the Fukushima meltdown. For two years it has been discussed and swarming with expertise, but with no limiting or actual efforts to stop the radiological contaminants from being released into the Pacific and all other connected oceans, the largest food and oxygen sources on the planet. Yet, surfers are surfing, swimmers are swimming, children are playing on beaches, and restaurants all over the earth are eating Pacific fish and also contaminated Atlantic fish according to multiple reports. Also never actually disclosed or address is that perhaps as many as 1500 nukes have been tested in the world's oceans, which also might have produced contamination since nuclear pollution doesn't ever really go away. So, at this juncture I ask myself, where is the left hand and what might it be doing? Politics, as we know, has new meaning in the global world of corporate political elites. Their political intentions were always based in deceptions from the earliest planning stages to today, for 100 if not 200 years. The UN Agenda 21 blueprint has never been fully disclosed in truth or in the open. The 47 U.S. biosphere reserves are still completely under the veil for 90% of American people who have still never heard of them. Same with the World Heritage Sites and they are totally in the dark regarding the 620-plus global reserves. Stratospheric aerial geoengineering and solar radiation management chemtrailing are only just now kind of sort of acknowledged as possibly damaging the planet for 35 years or more as well as the super-secret global HAARP facilities, which happen to superheat the atmosphere, while aerial spraying traps the warming on the ground beneath the artificial, metallized and very noxious and debilitating clouds and haze that laid across the skies, globally. And suddenly, we have another global crisis, publicized, with people sick, dying badly, and with sea life really, really sick and dying, and with worsening news and contamination pouring into the Pacific every day. Instead, a handful of experts are studying, having meetings and press conferences, pondering, coordinating thoughts and ideas kicking the dirt, etc., etc. What we are witnessing is political theater. The problem is we, too, are getting sicker and sicker. Fukushima is, after all, not just an oceanic problem. Radioactive ocean water evaporates and rains down on everything over the entire planet, and it just so happens that the nanoparticulates of aluminum, barium, strontium and other concoctions sprayed from jets and commercial planes, Globally, also rain down, blow in the wind nano-sized mind you which means their ingredients are wholly and completely unavoidable. Even your N95 masks, coats, gloves, hats and safety glasses cannot protect you, and these nanoparticles are in your homes, your cars, all over your children, stores, pets, possessions, lawns, trees, forests, in all watershed systems and all over the nation and world's crop fields think Monsanto aluminum resistant seeds. Consider well the over 1400 global seed vaults. I fear we are experiencing a double whammy. I am also thinking that a global crisis or crises are forthcoming, which will put global power centers front and center and in full force all over the entire world. I equally think that global health may be collapsing as we speak as global nature is demonstrating. Billions of fish and sea creatures dying, billions of birds, hundreds of trillions of insects and amphibians, and even large sea and forest mammals, far larger than human beings, are dying all around the world and badly. Hundreds of millions of forested acres are burning, annually and globally, while global aquifers are being privatized and locked down from most of humanity. Depopulatio was always part and parcel of the original plan by globalism's authors, and certainly a mass die-off of humanity cannot appear as genocide or democide in a mass media whistleblowing world, not when the orchestrators are so terribly few, but a left-right punch from global catastrophic events, especially ones we choose to ignore with our best ignorance, could be our undoing. When we choose to ignore Fukushima and allow governments to ignore mass extinction events, and when we steadfastly refuse to acknowledge that we are sprayed like insects for 35 plus years, 
seeing it above our heads for days and weeks on end, because we don't want to think about it, well maybe we prove what elites have always believed, that we are useless, ignorant, costly, and too common for their many bottom lines. As history has demonstrated century after century after century, when there are too many poor people, human culling occurs, which means they are murdered. I fear history, once again, is upon us. When whales, dolphins, deer and trillions of other animals and mammals and plants are biting the dust and all at the same time, we're next especially because we eat these plants and animals, actually resulting in a third whammy to humankind. Truth is, folks, we are being intoxicated from every direction humanly possible. What is happening to the world is not an accident. We are getting hit from all angles. See more at govslaves.info web link.